Hey everyone, it's Chris Bennett, your blockchain beard guy here. Hey, today I thought we'd talk about something a little bit different than blockchain, still tangentially related, but of course AI is the big hot topic this year. Um, and a lot of people are talking about, is AI ever going to achieve human level intelligence or human level capabilities? And it certainly seems, at least if you follow the AI news, uh, that we're right on the cusp of doing that, that something like that is right around the corner. And so today I want to talk a little bit about the famous mathematician and physicist Roger Penrose. Uh, back in 1980. Roger Penrose wrote a fascinating book, The Emperor's New Mind. Um, and in it, he talks about the nature of human consciousness. It gives kind of a mathematical breakdown of what he thinks consciousness is. And what Penrose talks about is a theory called OOR, or Orchestrated uh, Objective Reduction. Um, basically, what he argues is that human consciousness is a process of quantum functions, and therefore no classical computer could ever replicate human consciousness. Maybe a quantum one could, uh, but certainly not a classical one. And a big part of what Penrose bases this argument off of is Kurt Gödel's incompleteness theorem. Uh, Kurt Gödel was a famous mathematician, and in 1931 he published what is known as his incompleteness theorem. And this really changed the world of mathematics. This is one of the most fascinating mathematical discoveries to happen in the last few hundred years, in my opinion. Uh, what Codell discovered is that no formal system of mathematics can be both consistent and complete. In other words, any mathematical system is always or has the possibility to always produce logical contradictions and that there will always be some truth which is not provable by that system. There exist truths which cannot be proven. In other words, a mathematically sound theory lacks the capability to prove itself. Well, Penrose was thinking about Godel's argument, and he realized that human beings have the capability to prove unprovable results, and therefore human beings uh, must use a non-computation-based algorithm. And that's what led Penrose to speculate that maybe human consciousness um, was quantum in nature. So Penrose publishes The Emperor's New Mind in 1989, and he talks about how he thinks that human consciousness is a quantum, not a classical function. Uh, but he doesn't have a mechanism to explain how this works. Well, an anesthesiologist read this book and connected with Penrose and said, hey, there are these little structures in cells called microtubules. Uh, they're little polymers that help provide structure and regulate cell function, and they would be an excellent candidate um, for these uh, quantum processes to take place in. And so Penrose teamed up with this anesthesiologist, and in 1994 they published Shadows of the Mind, a follow-up that went a little bit deeper into these ideas. Um, anyway, if you're interested in any of this, I can promise you, I was a solid C student when it came to math. Um, I was able to get through both of these books okay, maybe didn't understand everything, but I uh, was able to get through them, so they are consumable. But curious what you think, is human consciousness something that can be replicated by a classical computer, or is it quantum in nature? You guys curious to learn more about quantum physics, or maybe Kurt Gödel's incompleteness theorem? Let me know, we can do some videos on that. Uh, but what do you think of the coming AI revolution? Uh, is it everything the hype says it's going to be, or is it maybe uh, not quite what it's cracked up to be? I'd love to hear what you guys think in the comments below. As always, this is Chris Bennett, your blockchain beard guy. Be good to each other.